Hotep, this is Brother Beku, uh, doing my first farm install on a tractor. We got a John Deere tractor, a, uh, I think it's a 4230, and uh, Mr. Malvo here in Church Point, Louisiana, going to let me put a couple of these cells over here in his tractor, and we want to improve his gas mileage, get some real work done, making food for people, creating a better world. So, uh, first shot, we're going to get more. All right, peace. Directly in the fuse box. Right now we're going to fill up some water. We doing the first time I'm doing. We're doing half gallon size this time, and uh, I got it. You got to you got to spin the. Uh, 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 yeah, you, it's, it's directly on you. All right, no. Was... As long as you can see. Right there to be good. That's our water level, almost to the top, maybe half an inch from the top. More water. That, uh, that, or actually, the more the steel's in the water, the more hydrogen you produce. So you keep it top, you want to keep it like this. Uh, so that's why glass is important, it's good to see. So when your water level goes down, you can always just fill it right back up. All right, so what we're going to do, let me run over here. All right. Right here we got our potassium hydroxide and Basically, you don't you need very little. I'm going to start out with what I use for a quart, which is roughly, I don't know if you can see that, but basically that's it. about all you need for a quart. So I'm going to just double that on this one. It's a very powerful catalyst, so you only need a very little bit. And I highly, you got to have an ammeter in line with your uh, electrical system so you know how many amps you're pulling. Because you pull too many amps, the wires get hot, the insulation melts off. Uh, and uh, basically you cause a, uh, you get a safety issue, you start to get into safety issues. So you want to dilute that up, make sure it's spinning around and everything dissolves in that. So it's basically, you see it's gone. All that is dissipated. All right. All right. So this is, um, this is essentially the design I've come up with is basically I'm utilizing the concept of uh, uh, infinity symbol, sine wave symbol. I uh, found that when I've designed cells in this way, I've gotten just much more hydrogen and uh, it just really works. So I got a double layer. This is about, uh, I guess, 0 .25, 0 0.025 millimeter thick. And so I just use bolts to secure them together on uh, four points per sheet. Basically, it's a four inch sheet that I wrapped and curled. And that's what you get. And just, uh, like I said, it's uh, it produces a lot of hydrogen uh, in the van that I've been running in for almost two years. Uh, I, I kind of like, I average it about anywhere from 50 to 70 percent improvement in gas mileage. So I don't know what uh, the amount of load this tractor is going to be using, so I'm hoping I get something in the same range of efficiency. All right, let me stop again. So we're doing hooking up the vacuum hoses uh, so we can get the hydrogen from one cell to another. And uh, these clamps are very important. The most important thing, and probably more than anything else, you can have no air leaks. Air leaks will basically screw your results. So the tighter, that's why you see a lot of this shiny stuff, it's called goop. I use goop to seal this, these ports, the, the check valve, and this is the regulator so far as regulates the vacuum pressures so that it pulls through, because it's basically from air goes down, pulls through here, produces hydrogen, and the hydrogen goes in here. And then I'm going to have another hose that's going to run right into the uh, uh, the airline. This is going to like go up on the other side, and then uh, the hydrogen is going to go into the engine using with this. Basically, we'll just throw it across like so, wire tied down, make it secure out of the way of any moving parts. And again, you know, clamps on all, so everything is airtight as possible. We get all that hydrogen going right into the engine. All right. All right thank you. you can go ahead. Any questions, Eugene? Well, I guess uh, the main thing for me, you know, being a, uh, who I am, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just think about 40 you're thinking right now, first install on, uh, on a tractor. Yes, this is my first install on a tractor, and it's uh, this is this is the type of install I really wanted to do because of uh, it's uh, I want to show adding real value to people's lives, and so I can think of nothing more valuable than making the land productive and cutting the cost of making that land productive. But it's uh, 
if you want to sit behind a mule or pull the plow yourself, you know, good luck. But uh, so that's why we got this on a tractor and uh, take this modern world and uh, make it more efficient, more uh, eco-friendly because we'll see how few black clouds and smoke come out of the smokestack. I'm really excited to see that, so how much of the emissions we can reduce so far as in the diesel. This is the first diesel I've done. Yeah. Uh, so uh, on a number of levels, this is very exciting for me. So uh, I'm just happy to have assistance of filming trying to, instead of trying to do it myself, everything myself. So I got help today. Especially from a man, Jonas. That's me right let, here. Let me, uh, you know, certain Places. interested parties don't want this in technology coming out because they don't make money. Because essentially, you look out all these fields, it's all green, right? That's what this planet does. You go to the deepest ocean, you go to the highest mountain, the driest desert, you're going to find life there. This planet does nothing but generate life. That's why everything out here, God's green earth is green. That's why those fields that you don't see just green. Exactly. I mean, everything grows. I mean, it just can't help but grow. Whether it's like mold, mildew, uh, insects, plants, you know. You get sun, you got water, you got life. It's that simple. And that's what this planet does. And so would you have that kind of amount of energy you see, to power all this out here, and all the bugs, and all the birds, and all the groundhogs, and all the raccoons, and all the possums, it supports life. And so we're just taking a small aspect of what is possible. But believe me, one of my teachers, he said a 116 ounce glass of water is enough potential energy to power all of New York City, a city of 8 million people, for one day. So that means you only need 365 16 ounce glasses of water the power all in New York City. So what I'm doing with this is just a very small fraction. So as I learn more, I'm going to implement more, and you're going to see better and better results. So essentially, at some point, we're going to have this. I'd like to have the tra all three of his tractors, all of your vehicles, running on water. Because we've been sold the bill of goods. All right. right. Right here, looking at is the, where the vacuum line is going to go into. To the diesel, the uh, right near, uh, right after the air filter actually, and that's the air filter right down there to your left, the big canister that you see right there, what I'm pointing at, and then that's where it comes in, the air goes up, over, and down into the engine. So uh, that's our theory of operation. All right. These HHO cells will save gas and on the mileage that help. Uh, we're doing it on this tractor right now, but we can, you can do it on cars, you can do it really on anything, anything that really runs on gas, and they'll actually help the world because of pollution, and instead of carbon monoxide blowing out of a, a car, I, they'll have oxygen blowing out and so it'll be like you taking in air and breathing out air is the same thing so that's why we're doing this example right here today on this tractor and hopefully we can get it to work well mr larry you know how do you feel you know that's right on, on the verge of having your tractor you know running with hho you know i mean what do you think? What do you think about it? Keeping the dollars in my pocket. <laughs> That's the bottom line. If I could get the bottom top, line. If I keep the dollars in my pocket. Same thing on my vehicle, on the truck I had, and it worked very well. So when I found out that he was, you know, actually doing uh, farming, you know, on such a large scale, I mentioned it to him, and he said he was interested. And then all that time, then came to this, and now. You know, they're, they're installing it and... Well, get the hookup, see yeah. what happens. Get the, the hookup, see what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, I've learned about oh. the H, the HHO, that it'll save you this, this thousands of dollars a year, are. and it saves on gas, um, diesel, and it works on tractors, cars, and everything else. What's my bro? You know... You being, how old are you, Mommy Action? I'll be 80 in November. 
80 and no, 84 years old in November. All right. And I'm sure you saw the first tractor, you know, when the tractors were coming up and stuff like that. What, what do you think about, uh, you know, something like this? You know, we were talking about uh, things improving, you know, every year. I guess, you know, what, what do you think about that? Well, when I started out, your wife and my father, we didn't have no tractors. Uh, horses and mules. Horses and mules? Horses and mules. Doing the back in 53, 52, the, the one more tractor started coming out. We bought, we bought some of that. Yes, yes, yes. And after the cotton went out, I went to Solby. I owned it from Cumberland, truck, big truck, all that, until I retired. Wow. That's amazing, man. So I went, uh, I feel like they say I went through the middle. Right? You went through it all, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and that was easy with me. <laughs> yeah, so you know what I mean? Uh, you know, and now your son, you know, is taking it to the next level. You know what, actually, of just buying the machinery, actually starting to implement and change the machinery to be able to even save you any more, you know, me, you know, even more money and stuff like that. So it's kind of like what you said, you know, when you first walked up every year, something getting a little more, yeah. a little yeah. more. Now, today, them brand new tracks in the shop, man, if you not had a kid, you're not gonna crank it, you're not gonna move it. So, you know, everything is so different. You know? 